This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Run to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar here with another Let's End This with 13 the Remake. Um, oh, man. This game. This game is a hot mess, let me tell you. I wouldn't call it garbage or anything like that, but this game is a hot mess. For those of you who liked the original game, you're probably going to be slightly disappointed in this remake, that's for sure. Um, I already talked about this. I uh, talked about some stuff in my, you know, let's begin, or uh, sorry, let's uh, first impressions. But for those who don't care about this and just want to see kind of like, like maybe the end of the game or whatever. Um, and I'm going to talk about all my problems with this game as well. Some of the weird hilarity of this. Um, right now I am playing version 0.4 of the patch uh, of this game, which has fixed a lot of issues from what I understand, but not all the issues. Because when I did my Let's Begin, or Let's First Impressions, I don't know why, I should make Let's Begin if I'm going to keep referencing like that. Um, they should be talking here pretty soon. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Um, yeah, we're going with the Senator to, uh, to infiltrate the, or help f figure out the organization that's here. And the previous President had been uh, assassinated, so that's why there's so much uh, high end security here. I mean, there's always high end security when it comes to the president, but in this case, it's a bit uh, more so than before because of what happened. Welcome to SSH 1, Senator Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. Find another way in. I'll walk you out, Colonel. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Oh yeah, you can already tell that the uh, voice acting in this game is uh, not on par. Let me just tell you. Now I don't know if it was like that. I assume it was like that in the original game because the remake didn't add any lines. It was they took whatever's from the game. They might have like touched up some lines before, or maybe added some from other characters that maybe weren't in it that I'm aware of. But I haven't played the original in so long, I don't recall. Good day, Colonel. But yeah, we're not going to leave this place, so. Hopefully a convenient door open to let us uh, let us out. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, uh, good evening, Colonel. How's it going? Anyway, we're going to sneak in there. I don't think we can actually close the door. Oh, here's one of the running jokes of the game. If you, uh, he'll probably keep doing this for actually quite a while. There's a running joke in the game where they're randomly during certain areas, like a person would be singing, like, either good or bad, depending on your view or thoughts on things. Um, okay, come on. Close the door. Um, yeah, we need to get in there to find the organization. Basically, the plot of this game is basically a typical, like, um, you know, groups taking over the world tr type of situation. Kind of like a cabal or, or, um, oh, dang it. So it probably saw me. What did the guy outside saw me? Not? Probably did. Yep. Okay. We'll just have to redo it. Um, yeah, this game, uh, for, from what you can already tell, the game is, like, super glitchy. Like, it is <laughs> ridiculously glitchy. Um, to, all, like I said, to almost hilarious standards. It's pretty, it's pretty, oh, whoops, ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, let him go ahead. Oh, actually, can I knock him out before? Oh, the game's not even letting, let, I was supposed to say the game's not even letting me knock him out. Um, I don't know why the game's giving me a, oh, did someone see me? Someone probably heard, I bet. Wait, didn't I close those doors? Huh, maybe they opened them. Well, let me go ahead and let him, let him activate it because I'm not going to mess with that. Because if you kill him, um, if you kill Innocence, the... Uh, oh, it doesn't auto-close, gotcha. If you kill Innocence, it uh, automatically uh, um, ends. Okay, that worked. 
Let me open up that and that. Up. Oh. Looks like he's walking in. Maybe. Up. Oh. Dang it. That's. Uh, hopefully that didn't activate the guy in the hall. It didn't seem like it did. Um, so I, and the reason I'm recording here is um, I thought it'd be a good half or a good point to the end because there's about 34 missions in the game for the most part, from what I understand. So I was just, God, you can still hear that guy. Yeah, you can see how bad he is. The running joke is the guy will sing after a while, and then someone will go like, "Shut up, Ted," or "You suck," or whatever, and then they'll they'll start they're like, "Aw," and then they go back to normal. The joke is usually is like really really bad, um, but you can already tell folks from just watching this for those who are watching on high 60 frame per second videos, which is usually what I record, uh, like about. Um, yeah, like there's major frame rate issues, and guess what, people? There's like only uh, I hate to. Cry jumping is kind of annoying, actually, in this game because I already talked about this in my first impressions video. Is but if you want to run, you have to hold down the button. It doesn't like you don't like hold it and then it stays until you stop. It stops if you don't hold the button. It's really obnoxious. Same with crouching. You have to hold down the crouch button the whole time. So if you want to like crouch behind someone and then sneak attack them or uh, cry shot them, well, you have to be holding down the crouch button. Now you probably don't need to crouch the whole time. I think crouching, for the most part, is supposed to meant to detect um, uh, detect noises and stuff like that more than anything. Um, oh, by the way, I'm playing on easy mode because to, I want to show. I just want to show the ending, and really, I don't want the frustration of the game glitching out and possibly making me redo the level. Um, that's happened a lot of times where I'll just be playing the game, I'll beat it, and then I have to redo the whole level because it didn't load at the final little bit or whatever. Oh, come on! I hit you with the chair. Yeah, sometimes like the game won't recognize um, me hitting someone with an object or whatever. It'll just be like, oh, you didn't do it. Um, so that's where a lot of the frustrations come, come into the game is the whole, you know, some things won't won't add, like hit, like um, I'll have to redo levels. Um, collectibles sometimes won't actively collect or it won't activate on screen, or sound glitching, or, or let's just say a lot of other things. I'm just gonna punch you because I don't think there's any alarms in this this like immediate area. Yeah, see how sometimes like I'll I'll hit him and then other times it won't let me hit him. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm saying I'm a lot. I'm just trying to think of the best way to uh, talk about like what I what I want to. What do, about my feelings, man? Um, and the story isn't really all that interesting either, really, for the most part. It's basically, there's an organization of multiple people. Um, I, I forgot, it's like seven, or was it 20 people or something? It was a, quite a few people. You're number 13, but you're not the original. The twist is you're not the original 13. The original 13 got betrayed by the group. And so, before dying, um... Uh, went back, uh, survived just enough to tell his wife about it. His wife basically convinced, like, the American colonel, the one you're working with, the one voiced by Adam West, to go undercover to this organization to take him out because of, uh, well, one, because that guy died, and also the former president got assassinated, and so forth and so on. And you're, as far as I know, you're just some random dude that kind of got wrapped up into this. There, there might be some little bit of extra at the very end where maybe you're, it's, you're a bit more important than that. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, another thing is the... I don't know. I guess you could put this on the... I talked about this as well. It's just the voice acting is so bad uh, in, in a lot of cases that it's it's hilarious. Um, like, David Duchovny did not need to voice this character. Like, he does not bring anything to the table. Uh, you should hear some of his... He only gets, like, a handful of lines in this game. Maybe at the end he gets a bit more. But it's, it's, it's ridiculous, like, how... Uh, like, it's like with a lot of, uh, oops, crap. Oh, come on! See how I was just like, I hit it with it, but it didn't actually activate? Um, but yeah, it's like a lot of games where they hire like a big name actor to do voices for it, and they don't know how to voice act. That happens all the time. I, I kind of wish, I kind of wish studios would stop doing that, where they hire someone just because they're famous. Because guess what? Not all actors know how to voice act. Surprise, surprise. Um, 
I try not to get caught because this is one of those sneaking levels where you can't just, like, kill the person. Because with how glitchy or bad this game is, I could just, like... If it was, like, a standard level where I could just attack people, uh, like regular dudes, I would just, uh... I would just run in and just start killing them, you know, that, that type of thing, but because of the, uh... Uh... Because of how badly this is programmed, um, I have to be a bit more careful. Oh, I better close that door. Um, if you go too far, you'll, uh, there we go. Sometimes I can get that to work and other times I can't get it to work. It kind of depends. Like sometimes I'll, I'll be able to sneak attack someone without them turning around. Other times I'll turn around like almost instantly and, uh, see me. Yeah, look at this frame rate. Holy gods. I don't, I'm not even that big of a, I, I, I'm not even that big of a thing about frame rates, really. It's just, when you have, when you're playing the game and then all of a sudden it slows down to like, like this, it's kind of noticeable. Even I can't like ignore it. You know, I'm one of those games that played like old NES games and stuff like that where it has whatever your standard. I think this is where one of the secrets are. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, I'm trying to, I also lift up all the secrets off screen to see if I could, uh, collect them. So I could show you all the dossier stuff at the end. Um, hopefully going in there doesn't have to get the alarm. Cause I don't, cause I don't remember seeing any other place to go. There's something I'm aware of anyway. Yeah, look at, there's like no one in here and you have the frame rate. Look at that. I hope, well, I hope this whole video isn't me just complaining about the frame rate <laughs> or just the game in general. The, I th the one good thing this game has, though, is it has good presentation. What I mean is it kind of... It, it has, like, a style. It has what it wants to be. See, the guy should have seen me, and yet for some reason... Either is seeing me or isn't seeing me. Usually there's, like, a sweat symbol over their head when they can't see you. Or when they're looking for you. Okay, apparently he now saw me. So, uh -oh, I might have activate... Yeah, because he saw me and activated everyone else. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, that sucks. I have to do the whole thing. Normally I wouldn't mind that in any game, really, for the most part, but this game's a bit obnoxious when it comes to, like, that stuff. So doing all this work, uh, doing all this is a bit of overwork. Don't lose him! Oh, see what I mean? I hit him with the chair, and it's supposed to instant knock him out, but yet it, it didn't. Might as well knock out this other guy, otherwise he might, uh come back from uh, and see the body or whatever. There we go. So, like I said, sometimes it works and then sometimes it doesn't. So, Yeah, I think the idea is I'm supposed to like sneak past everyone and get in there, so I might be a bit a bit more um, a bit too aggressive in my... Let's see if I have to pick up that um, item again or not. Sometimes I'll have to like re-grab the item again. Um, that's how glitchy the game is. is sometimes trophies don't, don't activate or click. Or whatever. So I've had to do that a few times. Which I think I might have accidentally overclicked some of the items. Because, uh... Um... Huh? Wait, really? It didn't work! Oh my god. See how that was supposed to work and it didn't do anything? Oh my god. Damn busted coffee machine ate my change. Oh, maybe I can ignore this guy. So I don't think I have to go through every... Every door or whatever. Yeah, I thought I... I thought the... Most of the levels have been pretty short, so I thought I'd, I'd like, record about... Um... About this point, but... This level's taking a bit longer than I expected. See how, like, nothing's activating for me? What is Sheridan doing in SSH-1 during an election campaign? This is sheer provocation. Hi. Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. He picked a fine day to do it. By the way, where the hell are my bodyguards? Yeah, they saw the body. I was thinking for a second, I was like, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to, like, um, hide the body or whatever. 
Let's try this again. Oh, what is Sheridan doing in body. SSH1 during an election Grab the body. This is Grab the body. Oh my god. See see what I mean, game, about about it being ridiculously annoying to Damn busted coffee machine. Like cuz you're you're, you're supposed to knock this guy out. You can tell that that's what I'm supposed to do. Um but like the Game won't pick up bodies when I need to, and what everything like that. Doing in SSH1 pick up the body. Campaign. This is sheer provocation. I... Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles okay, him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. Oh, I should have hit him in the bathroom. Oh, it. whatever. By Hopefully the way, they don't actually the see him this time. Bodyguards? Oh, wait, didn't I leave that one body out in the middle of the floor? Oh, I'm probably going to have to redo this, aren't I, if he sees it? <laughs> As a matter of fact, sir. Just a second, Calvin. Give me some change. I wonder if maybe I should have hit it in the, ba hit in the bathroom instead. The spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of Total Red. Those hotheads? But, Mr. President. Nothing but the dregs of society, recruited by McCall. Confound it. Not one machine on this base works. Mr. President. But if you feel they're the best, Calvin, I trust you. Yep, they saw that one body I had before, too. Yep. Oh, and see how the game glitches and stuff like that. Oh, God. I don't mind I don't mind it being a case of, like, finding bodies and stuff like that, because that means Damn, I need to be a bit more, like, I need to pay attention more to that, but, like, there's a checkpoint right before that. So it's, if you make too many, if you make a certain mistake, then you're kind of screwed in that, that regard. But, oh, okay. He actually hit in there, huh. Unfortunately, that means seeing the cutscene again. I can't actually, like, um... What I can't actually Sheridan skip it. In SSH1 during an election campaign? There we this go. Is sheer provocation. Hi. Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. He picked a fine day to do it. But By the yeah, way, so. where the hell are my bodyguards? They've all been knocked out, dude. Hopefully, um, hopefully he doesn't notice any other bodies that I've may have accidentally hit. As a matter of um, fact, just a second, I really Calvin. hate during this Give recording. I've been saying um and all this other stuff before, which I'm usually pretty good about my train of thought. Mr. President, sir. But have been because of the, for the, the nature of this, and I haven't actually recorded this before. I'm a bit, but, uh, Mr. President. I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh, my mood right now or something like that. By McCall. It. Trying to get a stream of consciousness, Mr. but President. when you stop, you, you know, when you but say, um, and stuff like that, you're, best, Calvin, I trust you. you're trying to think of a good thing to continue on, so, oops. Are they continuing this way? Maybe. Possibly. I guess they did because yeah, you can hear the see the tap of their feet. Yeah, it's supposed to be used to like detect noise and stuff like that, which a lot of the concepts are pretty cool in this game. Like I said, the onomatopoeia, noticing the taps and stuff like that. But that's kind of it. Now hopefully the game didn't actually glitch out and not tell me where I'm supposed to go next. I've had that before where the I guess I'm supposed to go okay here. Okay. I've had some times in the game where the game would stop telling me where to go, even though I had a pretty good idea where I was supposed to go, but it would... Uh, let's see if I can get this to work. Sometimes the... Uh, oh, there we go. See, like I said, the levels aren't super long. You can beat them in, like, maybe, like, less than 20 minutes, but there's some that were, like, a lot faster. Need to... Uh, let me see if I can look up the other video really quick. I'm just looking up... Uh, while, it's, while I'm waiting for it to load, I'm just looking up the where the next secret is in the next level. I think there's two in the next area, if I recall. It might be a while, because I think we... Yeah. Sorry, I'm just... Wanna, I'm trying to make sure to get all this, like, the first first time through. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry about that, just double-checking something. Alright, so we're in the next section. Here? Cooper here. I was to escort President Galvin to the control station, but I haven't heard anything. Can you find out what's up? Okay, over. 
Convenient chair. Maybe I shouldn't be knocking out guys, but whatever. See, that worked. Hopefully I'm going to have enough ammo and everything like that for the, uh, for the section coming up. Why is this door locked? For convenience sakes, all you have to do is just put a, t a chair on it, and then you've you've won the day. See what I mean, game? Like I clearly hit him with the chair. I clearly did, and it fa and it failed to a knock him out. So. That now that could be an issue with the modern game or the, the remake more than the actual original game. Uh oh, did I take damage from punching the? Uh, Fire hydrant, maybe. No oh, good, some armor. Nice. You know, see with all the glitchiness and stuff like that, that's why I pushed it to easy mode. And another thing is, uh, well, I don't know if they fixed this yet, but at least by the time of this recording, the uh, uh, the trophy system is kind of glitched as well. Because um, I've heard you can't beat the. Actually, I think these guys I can actually I can actually kill now. Well, the guys in blue anywhere, the spads or whatever they're called. Because the guy in green, are, the guys in green are uh, are obviously U.S. military. I think this guy I can kill. Yeah, I can. So now we're in a combat level now. I think the first couple of guys I I can kill. These guys I can all take out, which is nice. Now we can not mess with the stealth sections of the game. Like I said, might have worked in a um, a better design game, but the stealth because of the at least the remake version. Number thirteen, back among us. Help! All right, looks like it's boss time against Stanwell. I don't know which number he is on the top of my head. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of these boss fights are kind of like almost like just hit them until they die type of thing, like. And yeah, you're like, well, you're playing easy mode. What does it matter? Well, like I said, the mode hasn't really changed like a lot of the, like how difficult or easy certain boss fights have been. Okay, he was number three. Um, yeah, a lot of this game has a lot of boss fights, but like I said, they're not that impressive. I know, I know, I can't, like, I, I'll never be able to convince you unless I was playing a hardcore mode. But the reason I'm doing that is because of the trophies being uh, glitched. And you can't, like, this is one of those games where apparently you can't just beat the game if you uh, beat the hardest difficulty. Usually, in most games, when you, <coughs> for trophy hunters, usually you beat the hardest difficulty and it locks all the other trophies below it. But from what I've been told, it's glitched, so it doesn't actually do that. It only, unlo it only unlocks the ending you play it at. So if you play easy mode, then you, uh, yeah, here it is. Then you only unlock, uh, that ending so there is a trick to fix that if it if that's the case um, I won't be showing that on screen it has to deal with a USB drive and saving your um, file and everything with that now hey scientist man or who are you my god call off all operations before it's too late <sighs> take the president to a safe place and find Sheridan I've lost contact is that the president? Oh, okay. Oh, now we're gonna have to go really, really slow. Great. Now where are we supposed to go? Are we supposed to go back up, I guess? Hmm. But yeah, this is one of the many organization members trying to, uh, trying to, I forgot what they're, I mean, I know what they're, oh, whoops. Mr. President? <laughs> See how he just like flops all over the place? Can we? Can I even pick it? Oh, I didn't mean to press triangle. I was wanting to open the door. Dang it! See what I mean, game? Look at this. It's glitch. I can't even pick him up. Poor Mr. President. <laughs> I mean, that's funny, but it's annoying because now I have to restart, re -check, go back to the checkpoint and uh, probably have to fight that one dude again. Wait, why is it? Let's see. Uh, fine. All right, let's restart. I think I have to do the boss fight again. Yep. All right, I'm just gonna cut to when I beat the boss again, even though it only takes like a few seconds, but still. 
Oh, I, I, I think I'm going to leave that in. I'll, I hope I showed that off where his tongue's sticking out. Oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, it didn't take me very long to beat him, but still. See what I mean? Like, why I wanted to play easy mode for the purposes of recording, because having to redo this, like, to think, like, let's say that on uh, easy mode, or on harder modes, they're just a bit more aggressive. I think they might even have more HP. I'm, I'm not sure. But what, what would you think about having to redo that whole thing, like, all over again? Okay, I guess I'm just supposed to go back out the way I can't, I guess. Oh man, yeah, we have to walk like super slow mo. Watch out. Here I come. Here I go. I'm coming for you all. Yeah, anyone that. If I had killed these guys, it would have been game over because they're Marsh. or they're G.I. Joes or whatever. But. The other guys we can take out. We can go through. I think I was supposed to go back. I mean, where else am I supposed to go? No, the doors are opening or anything like that. And the game possibly uh, won't... Uh... <coughs> no. hmm. Yeah, I guess the game won't... Uh... Oh, I guess I can't go... Where am I supposed to go then? Hmm. Well, then, that's not good. There might, maybe there was a door I was supposed to go through or something like that, so... Oh, man, look at this. This is ridiculous. Look how slow I'm going. I shouldn't go this... I know picking up a regular person is 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 not easy to do, but we're playing a video game, damn it. <laughs> we're not playing, like, shoots and ladders over here. Hmm. Yeah, nothing in here. I must have missed, like, a door unlock or something like that somewhere. Of course, that usually means I'm going to put down the body, which means probably having to reduce again if it glitches out. Uh, the game's not letting me give me a destination. It did before, but now it's not working, so I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to just put him in, in a weird spot or something like that just to protect him, but there's no really good spots around here. Hmm. Let me put him down and see if it'll let me pick him back up again. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. It's ridiculous. Okay. Not just showing me picking up the body, but it's not telling me where to go now. Yeah, see see what I mean by the glitchiness of this game? Um, okay, I'm going to... I'm going to mess around a bit and see maybe I'm missing something, so... Um, I guess I'll cut it again to uh, to show uh, to see where I need to go next. So okay, I I thought I was supposed to press that button, but it wasn't activating the first time I did it. So I, I can't I can't believe he died with the tongue sticking out the, or died. He knocked out with the tongue sticking out. So okay, so I was supposed to press that. The, some of the stuff in the game is obvious, but because of the glitches, sometimes it won't like recognize or activate or whatever so see what I mean folks about that like this game is just a mess I was almost considering not recording this last little bit but I was like you know what maybe we'll get some hilarity out of it maybe I'll show you some glitches or whatever uh, maybe we'll have some fun yeah I was about to say, can we go back? So, oh, you know I can't load. Like I can't reload in the uh, in this position, right? I'd have to put down the body. So hopefully the body doesn't glitch out. I guess I have to have the. I guess I have to have the present on me. The, I don't know why the same the game says level complete. The level isn't complete. We're still we're still playing. I wonder if I'm actually supposed to go through the door there. Maybe. This is so obnoxious. I'm trying to have I'm trying to be entertaining, but you know it's hard to be entertaining when when the the game is a bit of a mess, a frustrating mess. I know I should be. Uh... Oh my god, the game will. 
Uh, the game won't even let me reload. Let's try that again. Yeah, I don't know why it won't let me reload when I have the per when I have the body of the president in my hands. <laughs> Although it does make a f uh, it does make me feel better when he stung sticking out and all that. I think I would think it'd be easy to hit someone in the head when they're not even moving. Yeah, the 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 targeting in this game is also a little weird as well. Like I feel like even though I'm trying to like aim for something, I feel like it'll aim away if that makes sense. Even though I'm trying to aim at him, like it could be my controller. I can't really blame the game for that specifically because I'm not a hundred percent sure on that one. Okay, apparently I'm not supposed to uh, go this way. So oh. Yeah, sometimes the game will tell you where you need to go. Which I guess technically I shouldn't need to, to do that, but with a game like this, it's all messed up and glitchy. I kinda have to I kinda have to verify or double check these things. So wait, what was the point of going through that door then? Okay. I thought that's where I was supposed to go because of the people coming out of it. Alright, we'll just follow the, the path less taken, I guess. Oh, can we drop this guy off yet? Quick. I'll look after him. Just leave him right here. Thank God. Looking after the president is a chore and a half. Any president, really, for that matter. Just dump him. Mr. President, can you hear me? Okay. He's breathing. Help us, Colonel! Alright, I, I guess I'm helping huh? Oh, now we can actually mess with attacking people without having to worry about... Oh, let me pull out the... I wonder if I can accidentally hit my allies. I hope not. Although it did checkpoint, so it's not... And yeah, normally this would be like, oh, I'm, I'm challenged to go through this thing. So, but this the purpose of this video is not to show challenge. Oh, we got an armor dude. These guys are actually kind of annoying. Uh, I wonder if I can get the achievement on screen. Probably not. It's probably not the best place to get that anyway. Uh, there's a thing, there's a trophy if you knock out like the person's armor pieces, like all of his armor pieces, and then punch him to death, you get a trophy, but I've heard that's glitched. And yeah, really this might not be the best, yeah. Oops. This really isn't the best place for it anyway. There's a better level to do that on anyway, uh, like an isolated guy. I probably should could have done it the first time. Oh, another secret, I almost forgot about this one. Ta-da. They must be neutralized. They must be neutralized. I think I've heard that voice actor before. I heard everything. I'll notify Colonel Amos. Oh, I'm supposed to go now. Oh, through the door there. Gotcha. That makes sense. Sorry, with this game's frustrations, I'm not even trying to like play this like a legitimate game at this point. It's just, it's too bad and hilarious at the same time. Anyway, we've only got, uh... Technically, we've got, like, three more levels to go. Maybe I should have waited to play it or uh, record afterwards, but... Let's see, I'm just... While the thing's loading, I'm just double-checking the places I'm supposed to collect stuff at. Yeah, it looks like this level's got two as well. Yeah, got to pull up my uh, recording video, otherwise I'm not going to be able to notice like when stuff happens. Hey, that's Colonel Marshall over there. Help! Let us out! Be careful. There's a lot of them. Don't get too excited, man. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I guess we we need to help the senator get out of here. I guess he's a senator. I don't know. He said he was a senator, so. Just... <gasps> I'm just gonna assume he's a center. Okay, this is one, another secret right... Where is it? I think it's a... I thought it was like around here. Where are you? God, it's so dark. I, I thought I turned up my gamma enough, but... Uh, oh, there it is. Oh wait, no, that's not... No, it's supposed to be around here. Hold on. I thought I just looked the video up and I thought I saw it. Hold on, sorry. Like I said it won't take very long at all. But the problem is with my, I think maybe I need to turn the brightness up on my TV. 
Oh, okay. That's where it is. Derp. Okay, there's that one. Yeah, I don't think this level is too long either. Yeah, we'll get we'll get you out, Mr. Mr. Senator. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Did did it work? Game? Okay, now you worked. Why didn't you work before? All assault teams are in position around the strategic network centers. Prepare to declare a state of emergency. When I give the signal, you will order all SPADS units to take control of every base. Hmm. Yeah, they're throwing down their coup or what it, well, I guess not technically a coup, it's a takeover. Because a coup would mean it would be like, they originally worked with the group and then they wanted to um, take over, but now they just wanted to take over. They weren't loyal to any of the people originally or anything like that, so. Yeah, it's not a very, really, it's not a, I guess the idea is to maybe take out, like, either assassinate or capture the president and just kind of take over, but the way they were explaining it seemed like, like people wouldn't have just let that stay down, so you probably would have caused, like, a major civil war to occur after that, because I don't think people would take on, at least the way that they were describing it. Now, I could be misinterpreting the plan a bit. It just didn't seem like it was fully thought out. Oh, I'm actually about to die. Huh. I usually, like, on the easy modes, I'm usually not about to die. At least not. Oh, I better. Do I have any heal left? Okay. I usually try not to heal if I'm like below 50, just because you, at least on easy mode. I'm not sure if this is the case on the harder difficulties, but you heal at under under 50 back to 50. But it's not like instant. It takes a little while. Uh, this is one of those games that actually you have to kind of like, at least depending on the area, you have to kind of hold your ammo and armor through certain levels. Which kind of reminds me of some old school. Well, it was, it was uh. Was, um, this was based off a PS2 shooter, so they were still. This is before a lot of games started doing the whole auto regen and stuff like that. It wasn't too long afterwards where games started having auto regen and stuff like uh, Similar. Not unlike, like, you know, Wolfenstein, where you, had, you could only heal up to, like, 10, and then you had to collect armor and stuff like that to survive. No, you can't fight this bozo. One of the numbers. I think he's like number two or something like that. Who does number two up for? I don't know. He's that great of a shot either. Look at my impressive skills. I guess I'm not just supposed to take everyone out. Hmm. So I don't think there's any other. Let's see, maybe I'm supposed to go through here. No, that's just where they popped out of. All right, maybe now that everyone's dead, maybe I can uh, take out that one bozo. So I thought that's where I was supposed to go, but. Mm. Oh, now, yep. We'll die together, 13. And the identity of number one goes with us. There's nothing you can do! Emergency destruction sequence engaged. Evacuate the premises immediately. Wait, is this Resident Evil? It's Carrington. We've located Galbrain, but he's out of commission. No one knows the access code for the missile control room. Find him and abort the process. It's your only chance. Yeah, I know Adam West isn't trying his hardest on, on the on the voice acting, but I still appreciate his effort nonetheless. I guess I have to go back, because uh, now that we got the card, are more enemies going to appear? Well, probably soon. I guess that guy just didn't want to tell us so badly, he just put a hole through his head. Ouch. Not a good way to go. Although it is instantaneous, depending on where you shoot. Unless you get unlucky, where and if you, you miss that part of your brain, but then you end up becoming like permanently... Um, brain damage for the rest of your days. I've seen I've seen a few failed uh, suicide attempts. There's there. 2000 megatons ready to blow right under us. Come on, we've got to leave the base. It's too late. Give me the access code quick. The code? This way.
Yeah, don't don't try to voice act too hard, David. Jeez. <laughs> I know I don't hate him in this. It's just like kind of like really, you're, you're not trying. Just, just a little bit. through this, I'm going into marketing. Yeah, that that could be very lucrative. Yep. See you later, ladies. I guess we're gonna stop this bomb from going off. Is it up to me? Senator? Okay. Anyway. Yeah, see, that one was really quick. So, alright, let me look up the uh, next secrets. I think there's only like a handful left after this. Yeah, I think there's like th uh, like two or something like that. <laughs> I was looking up the video where the guy like uh, show finds all the secrets, and there's a goofy like glitch there. I, I kind of wish I had caught that on screen, but oh well. It, it, he like it looks like he gets bent or uh, bent up. He's like running around with his just body bent all the way. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that happened when I had to say I had to go to like an like a mental hospital after I got caught, and I had to use this girl as a uh, nurse as a um, hostage, and she like glitched out like her head like bent back in her head and she t posed. Uh, this is pretty, this is pretty funny. Uh-oh. Oh, wow, look at all the warheads there. I wonder what type of... I thought actual missile, like, heads weren't that big. I think these are actually extreme missiles, because most missiles are, are big, but they're not this huge. This is more comically, comically bad guy huge. I wonder what happens if I hit the tip there. No. Um, although, actually, I don't think a gun would actually do enough. Where is a... Is there a hook around here? Oh, yeah, I don't think I actually showed on screen. Oh, there it is. Uh, I didn't show ca grabbing the hook. Yeah, this game has platforming. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, there's, like, a swinging and platforming in this. Well, sort of. It's not too bad. It doesn't actually require precision platforming. It just requires you swinging and... And releasing, which in most cases isn't a big deal. I haven't had I've had very few issues with the uh, with the platforming parts on it, except unless you want a trophy. Uh, there's a trophy like if you uh, let's see. I think I might have might have to double check the. Uh, hold on, just a second. I have to pause because there's an actual timer here. Okay, sorry about that. Just I just wanted to be aware of where the secret was, so uh, that way I could just go straight to it. Oh yeah, I guess I should be trying to see if I can find any ammo or anything like that. Or not ammo, um, armor and stuff like that. Because I... Okay, good. Grab that. Oh, uh, okay. Where's the... Oh, there must be, like, a grate... Oh, there it is. I was about to say, there's got to be a grate somewhere. Uh oh, I'm, I'm, I took too long. I'll probably have to redo this. <laughs> yeah, they don't, I, I just realized they don't give me enough, almost enough time to get through this whole thing. I think we're at the final, like, level of the game, if I recall. Destruction sequence initiated. Um, uh, where's the... Oh, there it is. Big red button. Okay, so I should have done that. <laughs> that was I was to activate the destruction sequence in the first place. <laughs> uh, kind of reminds me of like Ren and Stimpy or something like that. The shiny candy-like button. Can he hold out, folks? Can he hold out? No, I can't. I wonder if those are still funny even today. I know they were as a kid, but 
I know they tried to uh, yeah, conveniently the hook. Uh, that's why I didn't notice it the first time. I wonder if that was enough. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I was for a second I was holding the shoulder buttons to run. I'm like, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Not what you're supposed to do. Since I don't have to worry about, since I know now that I can just go straight to this instead of having to worry about. Kind of sad you have to wait waste so much time before you even get to it. You have to waste like a minute. Um, okay, obviously I don't need a. This is not um, good. Oh, please try harder, David. Please, you're a decent actor. Why can't you try voice acting better? Yeah, for whatever reason, a lot of, a lot of actors can't voice act very well. It, I know it's weird. Oh, maybe it's just a... Did I just punch that? Okay. Oh, maybe it's just a punch this too. Well, not punch it. Shoot it. Okay, then the next secret is around here somewhere. Oh, it hasn't stopped yet. Okay, um... I thought it was supposed to... Maybe I didn't uh, blow up all the things. I thought I shot everything, but I guess not. Oh, there we go. Destruction sequence canceled. All, all it took was violence. All right, let me. Sorry, let me. I'm looking up the secret again. Oh, okay, that's it. Yeah, I was. You know, I should have noticed that the first time. But there's a timer the first time you do it, so <clears throat> you don't want to mess with it. There it is. Ha ha. The call. Okay, now, uh, now the last two secrets are in the final, um, final le uh, final level, which is a. Uh, Basically a free roaming level at that point. No, no bosses or anything like that. So, so we have to worry about that. Wait, is there a hook on the other side? Hmm. Whoa! Ah! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Are you kidding me, game? Well, at least it saved it after. After that. There. Okay. Yes, like I said, sometimes the collectibles won't collect. Like, I forgot what level it is. It's when you save uh, Adam West's character. Um, that collectible keep kept popping up again every time. I was like, oh, no. Okay, technically I could look, uh, grab armor and stuff like that if I can. And it's not just you viewers. I cannot see anything in this room at all. Like, I was just running across the walls just to heal myself. I guess I need a. I guess I need to hook back onto the thing because I don't see. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's, hopefully this works. Ah, oh, shoo! Sometimes it won't catch. Like for whatever reason, the the game won't like catch onto the ladder, and you'll fall unless you press like the jump button or something like that. It's it's messed up. I don't know if the original game was like this either, but okay. Is it final boss time? You'll have to sort that out before they engrave your tombstone. Hey, it's my baby girl. Uh, she's been gone for quite a few episodes. I wonder what happened to her. Yeah, we're, the fact that we're shooting at these missiles is a bad idea, by the way. Even though our bullets are too small to really, like, do that much damage. Uh-oh, I better hide. Even a, Okay, so maybe some of the bosses are a little bit more difficult. Uh-oh, wow. Ah. Dang it, I'm not healing fast enough. Yeah, sometimes... Oh, damn, God damn it, game, come on. I'm gonna have to redo this boss fight, maybe. But yeah, she, uh, I think her, uh, I forgot what her name is, but she disappeared for quite a while. Like, all of a sudden, like, uh, multiple missions ago, she just kind of just disappeared. I assume she was just, like, taking care of, like, things, like, in the background while I was dealing with the other things. God damn it, game. Let me heal. Yeah, I know, this is the part of the difficulty. That's not the, I'm just, I'm just making fun. Although, 
Actually, how many, uh... Oh, dang. I've got a lot of heals. I wonder why it's not... For some reason, it wasn't, like, activating when I was pushing it earlier, so I assumed I didn't have anything. There we go. I got three. Oh, dang it. I guess the idea is you're, you're supposed to use the missiles as cover, because really, the bullets are not gonna... Not gonna activate the freaking missiles is not enough force. You would need something like a like a giant sized hammer or something like that to activate those. Uh, I guess I climbed back up. I guess. Yeah, that was Mongoose. That was the guy who supposedly that was the guy at the beginning. For those who watched the first impressions video, he's the guy at the very beginning of the game who supposedly killed. I think he supposedly killed the original thirteen, and uh, supposedly tried to kill you, but then we took him out. So. The only thing about him is he had two Uzis and that's it, which I guess was pretty effective. Hey, baby girl. Scare me like that again, and I'll take you out myself. Come on, let's evac now. I definitely, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of the Foxy Brown um, archetype, or you know, from either, um, or is it Jackie Brown, something like that, anyway. You magnificent son of a bitch. You okay, Wally? Is it really over? You bet your ass. Don't tell me you have no information about my past, General. Son, the day I recruited you, I didn't ask for your resume. I've always hired my boys based on their skills, and you were a cut above. Hmm, what about Jones? You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something. Oh, man. Happy ending, except we don't find out who we really are, other than we're Jason Fly. Yeah, the... I guess maybe I'll talk about this during the credits, about what I have, problems with the story and everything like that, but let's just enjoy the last little... last little thing. No last-minute surprises, no nothing. Just enjoy, enjoy some fireworks, some free time, some hanging out with a baby girl. Although, I wonder what ever happened to the 13's wife. She kind of disappeared on us. As a matter of fact, here he is, Jason Fly, our national hero. It's a great honor. Hey, Fly! Gentlemen, I've got priorities. How do you like my new uniform? Damn. Well? Baby. You are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny, too. I know. Not interested, huh? <sighs> Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. Did we just crack our knuckles? But, uh... I do like a girl who's like super confident when it comes to like their looks and everything like that. You think it's arrogance at a point and yeah, maybe it's it's true, but uh, is it arrogance if you can back it up? You know? But anyway, sorry. Alright, let's uh, take a look around just to kind of enjoy the enjoy the ending. Ah, there he is. Hey, where's your tuxedo? Hello, Fly. Finally we meet under better circumstances. 
Let's go to the front of the boat, everybody. Wow. Whoa. I guess all these soldiers, right? They they <laughs> they're like pull their guns out first, but before thinking about anything. Uh, the guy with the one arm is uh, wow. the head of the FBI, or at least one of the major um, people of the FBI. There's a couple of secrets around here. There's one near the front where the fireworks are going off. Uh, should be should be the last Over like uh, statue. Oh. Where'd Wally go? He's got to see this. Hey, fly. Why don't you go and get him? Very nice. I do kind of like interactive endings. I wish more games had them. I mean, there's not much to interact with, mind you, but. Uh, I kind of wish more games had that at the end. Where it, most games just kind of end, and that's the credits, you know, that type of thing. Where it's supposed to be, I thought it was supposed to be like around here somewhere. Hold on, folks. Let me just double check. I think maybe I have to go back around or something like that. I know this is like slowing down the, uh, slowing down, <laughs> slowing down the game a little bit, but. Like I said, I want to make sure to just get these the first time through so I can do any cleanup afterwards. Spectacular! Wow! What's the senator doing? That's weird. Why would you do such a thing, senator? You're acting very, very strange. When you're a stranger, people are strange. When you're strange, people go out in the rain. When they're strange, they go out in the rain. They're strange, they're strange. Okay, it's in there. Yeah, final document. Yay! Now, will the game actually unlock the completed? No, it didn't. <laughs> I didn't think they'd fix that. I'll have to, I'll to see if I can find uh, on uh, fi uh, find out which floor it is. Because sometimes, uh, yeah, sometimes it won't, um, at least by the time of this recording, the trophies won't collect. And I've collected all of them. It just didn't activate the collected all the items thing. But uh, yeah, I wonder why the center ran off like that. You know, he was there during all the trouble. I'm begging you, why? Give me back my son! We had a deal, Kim! Ah! You had a chance to get rid of 13! Why didn't you? Ah! No, he couldn't be. But we gotta get in there. How do we get in there? He can't be the guy. It can't be true. It's not possible. Okay, well, that. Oh. This is the mongoose. I repeat, this is the mongoose. Oh yeah, this is from a flashback. A fl you have a scene like this in the flashback where you possibly find out who number one is, and then it like cuts out. Number one here. I copy loud and clear. Can you see him? Who's number one? Tell me quick. Are the fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly? Thus, that's the end of 13. I think the idea for this is... I, I'm trying to remember if they actually did a sequel to this. But yeah, it ends on a cliffhanger where you finally find out who number one is. And you possibly either die or something like that. But I'm trying to... Actually, I should look it up and see if 13 did actually have a, a sequel to it. Because they basically sequel bay you hard on this. Um, let's see. I don't think it did, though. I don't recall... I don't recall... Uh, Yeah, they did suspend. They did suspend it. They were going to, but then they, because uh, yeah, it was like here. Like I guess I was, I was. I guess I don't remember how like mixed this game was because it looks like it got mixed reviews when it first came out back in the day. So yeah, I could see why because I feel like this game like it wants to be a mystery, uh, you know, a spy mystery, right? But 
there's no like wow there's like no unless my recording messed up or something nope there's just no sound um so, okay, so there's a lot of issues with the game, and we kind of go from the top. Story-wise, I feel like I know what the story is, and we've seen kind of a story like this before, but the thing is, you can have a story like this and still work and still be a fun story or whatever because you either do different things or whatever, you know, the Inasiac, the characters, or whatever. But this one, I feel like there's too many, too many things missing in between. Like, I know we're in Amnesiac, but there's, like, no, like... Like, in between missions, there's no, like, like major divides between missions where you go from like a completely different locations not like some of these are like tied in back to back to back so you just play them but some of them are like oh some time has occurred there's no like there's no like uh not even exposition is the word but i guess that maybe that'll be the one i would use in this case but there's no like in between conversations and no like mission objectives or briefings it kind of happens during it uh kind of like in golden eye there was at least even if there wasn't a lot of conversation bits back in the N64 thing they still had a they still had a like a thing you could read about like what you're supposed to do and then you play it and then you kind of go from there but there's nothing like that there was this game so there's so many there's so many missing like boxes in this game when it comes to the story and not really a whole lot of like well I mean I guess I did like uh, Adam West's character just because I like Adam West and I liked uh I think her name was Jones but um uh, She's there a lot at the beginning because then she helps you find out your amnesiac and then, then she kind of disappears and then comes back to help you at the end, but that's it. Uh, but I like kind of her character archetype, the kind of the confident, uh, confident, like I said, Foxy Brown type of type of girl. But uh, um, uh, see so what I'm thinking. Music-wise, uh, there really wasn't a whole lot of super memorable music in this game, I, I have to say. I'm trying to, re- I'm trying to recall any of the tracks that really like picked out to me but i don't i don't think i can not really nothing that like oh man i love that track i love listening to it i mean obviously this the soundtrack is ambiance and trying to you know set the mood but there wasn't anything that really like set it great i guess i mean i'm not saying it's terrible it's just nothing that really like just stood out or really i would nothing i would get the soundtrack for that type of thing or listen to it off screen um gameplay gameplay is a major issue in this game and i'm i don't, I don't even know if the original game was like that as well it might have been uh like i said sometimes sneaking does and doesn't work sometimes you can knock people out and sometimes it doesn't work sometimes hitting people with a chair and knocks them out sometimes it doesn't work sometimes you can use improvised weapons and sometimes they don't work um sometimes you can hit people in the head and doesn't actually hit them in the head like there's like issues with de- detect i think detection is the word i'm looking for the hit detection or hit box or whatever is kind of wonky at times um when things work um and sometimes ai is either smart or dumb at the same time like uh or sometimes ai should not notice stuff but then it'll notice stuff even though you're not in the same area like even if you're fit like if i was fisting uh fisting a guy um even though i was attacking a guy you know, someone would hear in the next room, even though they probably, well, I guess they would. It just, I don't know, it just seems kind of odd. Oh, I didn't even get to look at the American voice acting. I was talking, so I wasn't even paying attention to who voiced uh, Foxy Brown herself. Um, unless that, unless it pops up later. But yeah, the gameplay is a major issue as well. It's not even a fluid first-person shoot. And I don't even know if the original game had this issue as well with the frame rate. I know that, oh, here comes the English uh, voice. Uh, they'll pop up here in a second. Um or is it just English translation? I wonder. I think. I think Ubisoft originally re- released this game. Is that? I don't think that's. I don't think Ubisoft released the sequel though to it. Okay. Yeah. David Duchovny and Eve. Who's Eve? Her name's just Eve. Okay. That's uh, Foxy Brownlee. Adam West. Uh, trying to see if anyone else comes up to. Uh, Jerome sounds familiar. I might have heard him before. Uh, that's okay. I only recognize David Duchovny and uh, Adam West, really. Huh. But yeah, the Eve... I, I could swear that Eve girl... The girl... I can't believe her name's just Eve. Maybe she didn't care enough about the project to give her last name, you know? Kind of like back in the day where people would give pseudonyms for their names and projects they didn't care for. Um, Let me think what else. Yeah, gameplay has its issues. Um, And you already saw... Like, you saw on screen some of the issues I was having with the game already, like... At least with the remake version of the game, and obviously the worst part about the story in the game is that it, it sequel baits you, which never came. Which I, I know I, I get the idea of sequel baiting, but you kind of have to finish a game before you do that. You usually save it for your credits, like after the credits over, and then it happens because then it's technically isolated from the 
movie because then you could be like oh well the credits and then after credits okay that's kind of its own thing but if you do it during the movie and then nothing happens you basically just did it for no reason there's so many games and movies where they did that where it never came to pass because they thought they had more than what they did but yeah I, i'm i'm thinking even though the remake has its own issues you can still get the 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 cover of what the original game was like and i guess maybe it's been so long ago or maybe i don't Maybe that's why I don't talk about it because I didn't remember much about it, other than David Acuffney voicing it. But you can tell there's like a lot of issues. And it had kind of it kind of has that Ubisoft polish to it, you know. Although this might have been before Ubisoft became what it was, but you could see all the issues with the game there. And uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Just uh, I think it was an interesting effort, but yeah, there's it. it I, the original game needed more that maybe that's why it took them forever to make the remake because maybe they were trying to bring back the game. But now that we've seen the remake, I can see why the original game didn't do as well. There was just so many issues with it. Like I said, I already explained all that. Um, I wonder what I, I'm kind of curious what the uh, what the sequel would have been about. I guess it would have been about, but we killed most of the organization though. By the end of the game, it was. We beat, we killed all like all of them except for obviously Seventeen, who is Thirteen's wife, and you could see that she got, uh, she either tried to help or or tried to like save us or something like that because you know the way he was arguing with her. But yeah, Seventeen's alive, we're alive. Thirteen, even though we're not the original Thirteen and One, but I believe everyone else is dead. So like, where's the story out out of, out of that? I guess the idea is because the only people who know are 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 I guess yourself and Seventeen. And everyone else would have not have known. So maybe the idea was that you get captured or something like that, and then you try to find a way back to your friends and tell them that he's, you know, he's infiltrated the government. But uh, yeah, that's it for thirteen remake. Uh, before we call it an episode, let me go over some of the dossier stuff. Oh yeah, if you want to uh, get the other endings uh, without to replay the game. All you need to do is put in, uh, get a USB card, or USB card, USB stick. Put it in your uh, console. Back up your uh, your save file, so make that way you can actually go back to load it again for purposes of that. And then just start a new game. Quickly uh, go back to the main menu and then just choose the the, the final um, uh, mission again and just do that for the rest of the endings. Um, you only need to do that for easy, normal, and super. Hard. The super agent mode doesn't give you a trophy for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, let's go over the dossier really quick just to kind of show you. Up here's all the organizations of of uh, the just the conspiracy in general. There, is, is there not a highlighting mark? Oh, there isn't. I can't even tell who I'm highlighting except for on the side there. So number one is Walter Sheridan, president of the United States of America. So oh, I guess he's a. I guess he won. Then what happened to the previous president? Did he? die or did he just uh did he uh, uh um give up or did he just like uh, uh, uh abdicate or whatever huh that's weird anyway walter wally sheridan is a congressman that came i thought he was a uh, uh, senator okay anyway uh, uh ready to be president of the united states of america he's the brother of the previous president william sheridan who was assassinated at the beginning so he basically orchestrated his own brother's assassination for whatever reason Calvin Wax, Defense Secretary. Oh, does it go? With the, okay, if it goes up the top of the manipulating the government from the inside, basically. Um, Walter Calvin Wax eventually became the Vice President of the USA under the Gabrain Mandate. He committed suicide by shooting himself when he found himself cornered by thirteen. William Stanwell, Chief of Staff, White House. A faithful servant of Calvin Wax, General William the Butcher Stanwell was responsible for arresting Carrington before Operation Total Red. He was defeated in Sector 2 of the SSH base. Yeah, most of these you can't grab until after you've beaten these guys, so that way you don't get spoilers or whatever. Uh, Philippe Gillespie, Secretary of State of the Interior. Philip Gillespie is the Secretary of State of the Interior within the U.S. government. Following being arrested for his involvement with the conspiracy, he was sentenced to 30 years in jail. Oh yeah, I don't think we actually killed him. Okay, so not everyone died. I don't. Re I was about to say I don't remember that many boss fights. So, five. Clint, uh, Clayton Willard, Senator. Clayton Willard was the chairman of the Armament Commission within the U.S. Senate. He met his end in the Bristol Suites Hotel along with fellow conspirator Jasper Winslow. Yeah, I remember killing him. Uh, Irving Allenby, uh, Judge Sheridan Affair. Originally appointed by Gabrain to investigate the assassination of William Sheridan, Irving Allenby was actually a member of the conspiracy and recorded the fate death of Stephen. Steve Rowland in a helicopter accident. He eventually ended up being shot following following being informed by Amos that he knew the truth about him. I think I remember hearing about that scene, but uh, 
Uh, let's see. Seven. Frank Franklin Edelbright, a high-ranking member of the U.S. Navy, Rear Admiral Franklin El Ed Edelbright was found uh, was also found to be uh, number seven of the conspiracy. He died at the hands of thirteen on the U.S.S. Patriot. Yeah, he was one of the boss fights. Kind of looks like uh, Bruce Willis almost. Uh, Dean Harrison. Congressman Dean Harrison was deputy speaker within the House of Representatives. Upon discovery of his involvement, he received 20 years in prison. Uh, Jasper Winslow, chief executive officer, uh, uh, chief executive of office, Winslow Bank. Jasper Winslow was the CEO of the consortium of Middle West banks. He was killed with, in the Bristol Suites Hotel along with the co-conspirator Clayton Willard. Yeah, I remember finding him. Uh, he was actually really easy. <laughs> like he didn't have much HP. Uh, Orville Midsummer, proprietor, press groups. Much like the number of the con other conspirators, Orville Midsummer was sentenced to 20 years in prison following the discovery of his involvement within the conspiracy itself. Prior to his arrest, he was the proprietor of a number of press groups. Uh, Seymour McCall. Yeah, we fought him as well. Colonel Special uh, Assault Destroy Destroying Section. Seymour McCall was a high-ranking officer, colonel of the U United States Army, and he commanded of the elite SPADS unit. He was Steve Rowland's direct superior, was eventually eliminated by 13 within the SPADS base. Yep. Lloyd Jennings, advisor, White House. Lloyd Jennings worked closely with the President of the United States as a secretary advisor for the White House. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison after his involvement within the conspiracy was discovered. Steve Rowland, who was not us originally, but we took his face, basically. We had his face off. <laughs> Technically, we just had uh, facial reconstruction surgery. We didn't actually take his face off. Steve Rowland, Captain Special Assaults Destroying Section. Steve Rowland had the title of Captain of Spads and was the assassin who murdered President William Sheridan. He was later betrayed by his co-conspirators and succumbed to the gunshot wounds in his wife, Kim's arms. Uh, Harriet, uh, Harriet Tramore, CEO of the Federal Steel Corporation. Harriet Tramore was the CEO of the Federal Steel Corporation before she was sentenced to 10 years in prison. A lesser sentence compared to some of her co-conspirators. Yeah, we never ran it. I don't think we ever ran across her or heard any of her involvement, so she's one of those just off the, off the, off screen type of things. Jack Dickinson, CEO of the American Legion. A background presence of the conspiracy, Jack Dickinson was the chief executive officer of the American Legion. He too was arrested for his involvement similar to the other less public facing conspirators. Uh, Norman Ryder, Colonel of the National Guard. Not much is known on the life and doings of Norman Ryder. All that is publicly known is that he was a colonel within the National Guard and a strong background presence of the conspiracy. And what was the point of having him then if there wasn't any point to, like he didn't really do anything in, in the map points of the story? Uh, Kim Rowland, Steve Rowland's wife, Window. The widow of Steve Rowland, Kim Rowland, swore revenge on the conspiracy members for double-crossing her husband and causing his death. It was her plan to find out that the identities of the other members of the conspiracy by having Jason Fly appear as Steve's doppelganger. Uh, Edwin Rauschenberg, CEO of the CBN Channel. The CBN Channel is a news outlet that reported on the death of one Walter Sheridan following events surrounding his death. As the CEO, Edwin Rauschenberg likely had a hand in skewing the news to his and the conspiracy members' favor. Or, yeah, favor. Ellery Shepard, Direct General of the Department of Defense. Another high-ranking member of the United States government, Ellery Shepard was the Director General of the Department of Defense before his arrest. Not much is known about his life publicly. And finally, Edward Johnson. He's uh, There was a mission where he, had, where he got caught and were thrown in a medical facility because they needed information on like what you knew as well as that, uh, that safe, the key that you got at the beginning of the game. Uh, but uh, we just shot him with a magnum. <laughs> no, he, he he actually takes a few shots. He his boss fight was weird because he like will throw like um, he'll throw like uh, vials at you and he'll try to stick you with like a syringe and it causes you to drop your weapon and ammo. <laughs> Weirdly enough, uh, Dr. Edward Johansson, chief physician and director, planes plane rock asylum. After being captured by Kelo Keloine, uh Kelo Knee Lake, Jason Fly is transported to Plain Rock Asylum, an institute at which Dr. Edward Johan Johansson is the director. Upon Jason Fly's successful escape, Johansson attacks Fly with knives and neural inhibitors. However, Fly overpowers the doctor and manages to escape, leaving Johansson to die in his own operating theater. And then there's the collectibles. Uh, I think I got... Yeah, I got most of these, but for some reason it's not a... Uh, you have to, like, highlight them. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's it's weird how it's like it's it's uh, covering them up or whatever. So I don't know. See, I think I got all these. So yeah, see, I collected all the weapons. Let's see if I collected all the. I'm not gonna read all these, by the way. 
Yeah, see, all these are collected, so whatever reason the game decided not to activate the, uh, uh, I think it's, I think the idea is it's supposed to pop up the models when you collect them, but nothing's happening, so, yeah, I collected all these, so I don't know why the trophy didn't pop up, and yeah, here's the trophy, um, there's the one for complete all the difficulty modes, taking no damage in a mission, um, uh, Let's see, I haven't done that one yet, but there's a couple missions where you can do that on pretty easy. Die from drowning. Yeah, the thing I don't like is it doesn't highlight the box you're highlighting, even though it shows it there, but I'd rather it highlight the box. See, yeah, this remake has so many issues with it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it doesn't show find all collectible items, even though I found all collectible items. Um, so I'll have to uh, go off screen and see if I can do it. Sometimes you have to like recollect the items in the game. I think I know what I have to do. I think there was one map where one item kept reappearing no matter what I did. But I don't, if, if it kind of too much of a problem, I'm not actually going to do that. It's 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 a bit annoying. So anyway, that's it for 13 Remake. Uh, what can I say, folks? It is not a very good remake at all with all the glitches and everything like that. It needs a lot more polish. And it's already... And the thing is, this thing's polishing an already not great game. And uh, I'm sorry for those who really like the original game. But there's... From what I played, I at first I was really invested because of the art style of it and the presentation. But after a while, that wore out really fast. And I realized that without good gameplay um, and story, um, graphics could be nothing. And I think that's a lesson we all should learn. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next game.